Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to an episode that I honestly think I didn't have to do but these people have been messing with the bull so if you mess with the bull you get the horns <laughs> So after my encounter with this Ahmadiyya doctor I gave him the treatment <laughs> that he was in such desperate need of frankly. But so you're, you're comparing exactly. somebody that changes clothes because he's been told by Allah to somebody no. who actually sees himself to be God in a vision. Numerous people saw in dreams that I have a dream that one day Oh dreams, come on and, man, and, 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 than that. And, and, and then another thing is, and another thing is well, I saw in a dream that I was Batman. I mean, Mirza come on, I can't start jumping from building to building looking for the Joker. I'm not even sure he's a doctor yet. Let's face it, it might just be a doctor like Dr. Pepper's a doctor. But after I finished operating on the doctor, I thought he'd learned his lesson. But rather than taking the recommended bed rest that he was prescribed by yours truly, he decided to come at me again and accused me of insulting a prophet. So in the immortal words of Bain, Let the games begin. Prophets didn't have teachers. Yeah, because if a prophet has a teacher, then it's like the teacher is superior to the prophet and the credit of that prophet goes to the teacher. You know what I'm saying? So it's not befitting for a prophet to have a teacher. So first it was Dawood now it's Musa In the Quran itself, Musa asked Khidr to be taught. Moses said to him, may I follow you provided that you teach me some of the right guidance you have been taught. And to mimma Are you saying that Musa was not a prophet because he was taught at one point by Khidr See where comedy takes you? Such blasphemous comments you're making against the prophets So let me get this straight. When I say that it is not befitting for a prophet to have a teacher, I'm being blasphemous. Such blasphemous comments you're making against the prophet. And I am mocking. Yeah, the word mockery is there in the text of the video. Brace yourself. Uh-oh, it seems somebody has not taken the Hippocratic Oath. Rather, he's taken the Hippocracy Oath. <laughs> because here in Ruhani Khazain, Volume 1, page 16, Mirza says he, referring to Allah, himself taught and trained all the honorable prophets without any teacher as a sign of his eternal blessings. <laughs> so you see, I was just quoting your founder. <laughs> you guys were telling me he was the real deal. So now according to his next statement that's found in Ruhani Khazain, volume 23, page 390, Mirza said, in Islam, insult of any prophet is kufr, yeah, disbelief. You're finished, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished, wallahi you're finished. So as you guys can see, you've got the context of both of these quotes on the screen, so they can't moan about me taking it out of context. So according to you and Mr. Mirza's words himself, he's a kafi, he's a disbeliever. Wait one second. And trust me guys, this video is the tip of the iceberg. Let's leave it there until next time. Um, let me think. Uh, um. Assalamu alaikum.